Hello guys, and welcome to another video. Today, I will be telling you how you can easily convert energy into mass. So we all probably know the equation, A e equals mc squared. Basically, this means that the amount of potential energy an object has is equal to its mass multiplied by the speed of light squared. Or in other words, there is 89 quadrillion 875 trillion 517 billion 873 million 681 thousand 764 times more energy in an object than its mass. An example of this is what occurs during nuclear fission. A neutron is combined with a uranium nucleus, causing it to split in half into a krypton and barium nucleus. In the process, over 200 million electron volts of energy are released, or about 3.2 e-11 joules. This might not seem like a lot, but all of it is coming from a single tiny nucleus. The reason that this happens is because when the protons and neutrons are freed, they will release energy that is the speed of light squared times more than their masses. But also, in the process, the new nucleuses will each lose a tiny bit of mass, due to all of their energy also being released. On the other hand, you can make a particle gain mass by breaking it free from a nucleus. This is basically the way to convert energy into mass. So, how much energy would you need to create a cubic centimeter of pure neutrons? First of all, if the cubic centimeter you are creating is going to be packed with neutrons, there would be around 3.523 e plus 38 neutrons inside, weighing around 590 billion kilograms. This would mean that you would have to use up 5.3026556 e plus 28 joules of energy. In the process, you will also lose around 600 million kilograms of your own mass. By the way, this is equivalent to about 13 billion gigatons of TNT. But what if you wanted to create something less dense, like a slab of concrete? Well, this is where it gets more complicated. A slab of concrete consists of a variety of particles in more specific places, unlike the cube of pure neutrons. In order to create an atom, you would have to one by one give energy to neutrons and protons until they are big enough, you can split it. By the way, splitting protons and neutrons is actually possible, as long as you give the new ones quarks and gluons, which will take even more energy to obtain. Then, just get some electrons, which are not as hard to get as quarks, and link them to your new nucleus. Then, repeat this process at least 9.7959184e plus 25 times, and you will have a slab that is 100 by 1 by 100 centimeters. This obviously would take a lot of time, but you could speed it up using machines. So yeah, that is basically the best way to convert energy into any type of mass you want. Hopefully this video helped you on your quest to make an infinite food dispenser, or whatever you're trying to do. See you in next week's video, and bye.